find the domain of the function. So the function in this problem is uh, f of x equals the square root of x minus 1 plus the square root of x plus 2. So the domain is the set of inputs. It's all of the x's that we can plug in here that actually make sense. So if you just had the square root of x, say you had just y equals the square root of x, that would look like this. This would be the graph of y equals the square root of x. And so the domain of this function is just 0 to infinity with a bracket. right? The domain is the set of all inputs. It's all of the x values that give you y values. So there's no x values, there's no x values over here. Right, there's, let me get a different color. There we go. There's no x values over here. They're only over here. The x values here give you these y values. So in particular, x has to be greater than or equal to 0. So whenever you have the square root of x, whatever is in the square root has to be greater than or equal to 0. So in this problem, the first thing you do is you make sure that whatever is in the square root has to be greater than or equal to 0. So x minus 1 has to be greater than or equal to 0. Right? For this to make sense, this has to be greater than or equal to 0. And x plus 2 has to be greater than or equal to 0. So step one, whenever you have square root functions, is you ask yourself, OK, the domain is the set of all inputs. And so this has to make sense, and this has to make sense. In order for this square root function to make sense, this has to be greater than or equal to 0. And this has to be greater than or equal to 0. You solve each of these. So here we get greater than or equal to 1. And here you get greater than or equal to negative 2. And now if you want, you can draw a number line. You don't have to. Um, so here is x bigger than 1. All, right, all the numbers bigger than 1 are over here. And then here is x bigger than 2, the negative 2. They're all over here. So we want the answer where they meet, because it says and, right? So it's what they have in common. It's the intersection. So it just should be 1 to infinity, right? All of this is what they have in common. So the domain should be 1 to infinity. Another way to do this piece is to tell, ask yourself, OK, x has to be bigger than 1, and it has to be bigger than negative 2. Well, if it's bigger than 1, it's bigger than negative 2. Boom, done. Again, if it's bigger than 1, it's bigger than negative 2, done. In particular, you can always just take the biggest one. So if you had like x bigger than 1 and x bigger than 3, the answer would be x bigger than 3. Hope that made sense. And let's click it just to make sure we got it. Yep, that's it.